Hey everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Multiboxing with Mirai. I mean, if at any point you turn on this video series and you expect someone else to be behind this microphone, you're going to be sadly mistaken. You know, I'm sure there are some people though that turn on this, this series and they're like, ah, oh, not the Mariah guy again. His head is so shiny. Can't he just grow some hair? You ever seen the movie Powder? It's kind of like that. So here we are, we're out, we're out in Koldara. And uh, if you haven't taken a, a look at the title of the video yet, what does that mean? Where are we going? Where are we going? No, not to the Oculus, not to the Oculus. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to, um, we're gonna do the Nexus. We're gonna do the Nexus. Nexus isn't the like most exciting instance in the world, but um, you know, it's not like Violet Hold or anything like that. No, I kind of like the Nexus. The setting uh, inside is, is kind of nice. Don't mind me, I'm riding back and forth like an idiot because uh, the Paladin is faster than the rest of the party. So you kind of got to zigzag around in order to let the party keep up. So we do this, we do the jump, and they're all in. Okay, great. Now again, I still don't have a buff button, so um, I do have to manually buff her in, in, a, in a moment. Now, uh, let's see here. Man, I haven't, okay, wait, wait, wait. Cool menu swap, I gotta remember to use this. I have to remember to use that. Um, we do this. Does she have this on? Now she does. Swap over to the mage. <laughs> I'm gonna forget to do this the entire time. Uh, and then the shaman. Also needs a little lightning shield, a little wind fury, and a little flame tongue, if you know what I mean. So, oh, we're not leading from her. Uh, I do have a little bit of the sniffles at the moment. It's not because I'm sick. Nope, not at all. It's because I just had a delicious, a delicious chicken wrap with some very spicy sauce on it. And I'm very excited. It's very delicious. Oh, 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 we got to get this other guy too, just because I... Pow! Look at, I love that. I love that shield. It's like a missile. It's, it's like a missile. Oh, great. He's going to stand back there and just throw frost bolts at me this whole time. Come on. Let's go, guys. We got to get this guy. Can I get a freedom? Can I get a freedom? Somebody. Whoops. <laughs> Mouse malfunction. Okay, great. Um, We do have a little bit... Uh, oh, jeez. We do have a little bit of an issue at the moment. <laughs> I have some sort of issue. Oh, no. <laughs> My bags are full. <laughs> Isn't this an ongoing problem where my bags are always full? Oh, well. Okay, that's not a big problem. But the, the actual problem is um, that uh, I've been trying to troubleshoot a, um, an interact with target issue that I've got with my melee characters. I don't know why they're acting so funny, but uh, I just made a change right before this video. I'm hoping it's going to fix the change, uh, fix the problem that I couldn't really track down. Back these guys up into a corner and go collect up most of this area. So I did mention in the last video, I'm a little bit more powerful than I was in the past um, videos. Hurry this up and, um, whoops, where's the big guy? Nope, that's not him. This is him right here. He's gonna fear everybody. It's gonna be terrible. He is a heroic only boss. Oh no, come back. Heal it up, heal it up, heal it up. What are you doing? What are you doing? And he keeps knocking you back and he keeps knocking you around. Oh, too bad. I win. All right, so I did say I was a little overpowered in the last uh, video. So things are going to die faster. But I did also say that uh, that allows me that allows me to pull more stuff, you know, and I can finish these instances a little faster because I know sometimes they can get a little wrong, a, a little wrong, a little long. <laughs> Man, I can't get that chicken wrap off my mind. That's what I'm thinking about. So we're going to come this way. We're going to come around the corner here. We've got to watch our back because there's a patrol back there. Turn around, heal myself, and then send in the group. I went around the corner there, obviously, to uh, gather up the ranged enemies. Got to watch my back. Heal yourself. Okay, great. Fantastic. Heal these guys up a little bit to move this way. I like this first area. Now, I mean, if you're not familiar with the Nexus, then you totally missed Wrath of the Lich King. But I love the Nexus, the different paths you can choose um, throughout the whole thing. Now, I'm going to go a little crazy here 
And I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. But um, we're going to do this. Then we're going to do that. And then we're going to do this to speed up. you got to watch out on these guys because... Where is my mouse? Because um, they do... They do... Uh, Silence. That's the big problem here. That's that's the major problem. So I can't really do a lot of self healing. I do have to stay on top of my own healing from my healer. Um, things maybe do die a little bit slower. I will say because I'm not using an AOE DPS key. Because if I did, like if my warrior was whirlwinding and stuff like that, she would just be cutting through enemies like butter. And I'm really trying to kind of make this a little in, a little more interesting than just um killing everything in literally two seconds now let me kill these guys first okay stop there get them actually come here and then stop again come here bubble bubble the big guy big guy being my tank melee are in and we're cutting through them like we should be see everything dies pretty easy but I'm going to do something crazy after this boss. I keep trying to loot with my main guy. <laughs> full inventory. Full inventory. I, I, and I've played for two days. For two days I've been playing with a full inventory. Every time I get out of the instance that I do, I forget to... Uh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay, you don't have to tell me. Now, uh, this boss, I'm going to let her live a little bit longer than normal... Um, she always says that you know what they say I don't know what they say but she never gets to the second part of that sentence now this is one thing this is what I, I want to leave let happen here she um she throws everyone around and this is something are you going to throw me around okay this is something that really screwed people up back in the day and uh, I imagine it would still screw people up today if this was current content but um oh Hit follow, break, whoops, that's not break, follow. <laughs> Still got my old keybind stuck in my head. But um, I did get the achievement last time I was in here. One of them is to kill her mirror images within five seconds of each other. So, And she'll reappear. And she's dead. Okay, great. Loot that up with somebody else. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Now, what I'm going to try to do... I haven't tried this yet, but I thought this would be a good thing to do live on camera for the first time, <laughs> which usually means it's going to end up in a giant disaster. Oh, also, if the lighting goes in and out, it was just storming here just a little bit ago, and it stopped storming, and now the sun is coming out, and it's behind clouds, and it's coming out, and it's behind clouds. So, I don't know, first world video recording problems. What can I say? But, uh... What I'm going to try here is I'm going to try to pull the first platform, the second platform, and then there's these, these mana wraith things. There's a group of them I'm going to pull as well, and I'm going to take it all the way up to the, the last platform before the boss, and we're going to see if we can just pull everything together. I am going to, just, I am going to kill the... Um, there's these... Um, uh, what are they called... Rifts. There's these chaos rifts that uh, I'm going to kill the first one because I don't want it to leave me in combat. So I'm going to go up to it and kill it. But um, other than that, we're going to try to stay in one group here. I'm going to try to stay in one group. I'm going to try to keep the tank healed if I can and bubbled, of course. This is the rift I'm talking about. It's going to die very quickly. I'm going to throw out another consecrate if I can get it. Is everybody following? No, not everyone's following. Oh, warrior, what are you doing? You gotta be kidding me. Heal yourself. Everybody got split up. What just happened down here? This is a disaster. Where's the priest? Oh no, the tank is gonna die. The tank is dead. All right, oh, where's everybody else? Where's the priest? <laughs> what just happened, man? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, well, I'm gonna wipe it. I'm gonna do this again. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I don't know how everyone gets, got split up. I don't know what happened. We'll be back. I'll be right back. <sighs> oh, 
okay, I needed to, um, I needed to rehydrate. I think that was maybe my problem. I was a little dehydrated. That spicy, the spicy sauce and the chicken wrap. It's really sucking the, uh, really sucking the, the water out of me. So we're going to try this again. Uh, obviously I don't know what happened. Um, but that's really the cool thing about recording these videos is that I can look back at this stuff and then analyze what happened or what, what went wrong. And, uh, that, that works phenomenally. You know, if you, I, I think if you want to get better at just playing in general, any game, regardless, videotape yourself playing and watch it back because there's no way that I could have, there's no way since I didn't know what happened, there's no way that I could fix, you know, whatever happened. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try this again. And if this doesn't work out this time, then I'm really just going to say, screw it. And we'll just do the baby steps. Okay. So everybody's still following. I'm going to watch the bottom screens. This rift is now gone. I've got another consecrate I can lay down. Oh, these guys are dead. Oh, well, that kind of takes away from part of it. Everybody's down here. Okay. And we're going to go this way. I'm going to stop and heal because they got to come down a ramp. I don't really want to heal with the priest because that's when she grabs aggro. I don't have a, a lot of um, throw a consecrate down over there. We're going to do this and we're going to do uh, this. We're going to kill this rift first because it just keeps pumping things out. Come over here, drop another consecrate. Oh, this is not good. Um, actually, so um, everybody follow me this way. Break, follow this way. Please heal him. Please, uh, please heal the tank. Uh, one other thing you do need to watch out for is uh, <laughs> I'm looking down at my my follower screens because melee can run off of the edge and into the abyss, which is not a good thing, which is not a good thing. So come here, quickly follow. Everybody's still alive. We made it. We made it. That was, uh, it wasn't as tough. I, again, I don't know what happened the first time. We'll have to see in the review. Now, here we are. We're at Anomalous, which is our first boss of the instance. This guy was, I don't think this guy was ever really hard before. It's just, um, you DPS him and then he hits a certain point and he, he shrinks down and becomes immune. He opens up a rift that you have to destroy. When you destroy the rift, he becomes unimmune. He goes back to being regular and then you just DPS him down. So we should only get one rift, I imagine, um, because I'm a powerhouse uh, team of characters here. Whoops, did I just, uh, okay, good. I thought I, uh, oh, come back, come back. Do not run off the edge. That's Shaman, man. I need to replace the Shaman, too. Okay. See, not too hard. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So we're going to clear out these guys over here. Um, yeah, let's, um, let's do it this way. I got to hit up this group as well of the mana wraiths. And uh, we'll do that. We'll hit these guys up. We'll keep running. We'll keep pushing through. We're going to get this rift real fast. Then we're going to follow and we're going to do this number right here. We're going to come around the corner. We're going to line of sight to everybody. Force them to come to us. Stop following. And uh, just drop a Consecrate here. Again, I kind of have a lot of time because I have a lot of health. I'm able to kind of group these guys up. Are we even attacking? I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what the mage is doing. Okay, everybody is done. Doesn't look like the mage was doing anything in that fight. Where is the mage? Is the mage even here? <laughs> the mage is here. Okay, great. Go back to one. Go back to one. All right. Here we are. We're in the ice area of, um, so I, I do this. I come around this way. I hit, um, I hit, did I say, I said Anomalous was the first boss, didn't I? <sighs> Sorry. Anomalous was the second boss. We're making our way to Ormorok, the tree shaper, and then, um, we'll hit the final boss. You have to kill everyone before you hit the final boss and, uh, throw a freedom on myself because these little things do a, a, a type of um, hamstring move. Come on, hit this guy. Hit this guy up. Okay, do that. Heal it up. Bubble it. Stop following. Hit him up. And um, come in. Come in to start combat. We're going to get another patrol, I think, over here. Nope, they're not coming far enough. 
Okay, any patrols behind us that we missed? I can't see anything because there are giant trees in the way. I think we're going to be okay, though. We, we, we typically are okay in most pulls. The Nexus isn't really all that much of a challenge anyway. It's a good, uh, it's a good warm up. I don't know why I keep looting with the Paladin. I know his inventory is full. Um, the Nexus is is a good warm up instance for this. So, just getting back into the swing of things. I have been practicing. I have been practicing. Here's that hamstring. Takes me way down in speed. So, bust out a freedom. I do have a double freedom. So, phew, double freedom. Speed it up. Hit these guys up. Stop following, bring in the melee. Oh, we're frozen in place. No good. I don't, okay. My casters are way back here. That's good. That's exactly where I want them. Um, I haven't, I haven't interrupt, I haven't incorporated any stuns or interrupts into my uh, rotations yet or into any of my uh, hotkeys yet. So I can't interrupt or stun anything. Get that, get that. Is that it? I thought there was maybe another patrol. I guess not. Loot this up on somebody besides the paladin. Okay. Now this guy, again, pretty simple. There's nothing else to say about most bosses in heroic instances. They're pretty simple. They, they don't, you know, they generally don't have as many mechanics as a raid boss or something like that. So what he's going to do, I'm going to pull the camera out pretty far in this, in this fight and point it down. He's, um, He's going to throw out like these um, area of effect um, things where he's uh, you're supposed to get out of them. And if you don't, they're going to shoot ice up from the ground and they're going to kick your guys up into the air. So I'll try to get out of the way with that. No promises on that one. But I pull the camera way out so that I can see what is going on here. So because I'm, I'm going to let him do it rather than try to beat him up real fast. Come on, buddy. Show us what you're made of. You're not going to do it? <laughs> what is he doing? There it is. So, okay. I was auto-attacking for half of that. Anyway, I was safe. I was safe. Usually he, um, usually he lays the area of effect stuff where my healer and mage are standing, and I have to move them out. But just trying to show off some mechanics. Thanks, thanks Ormorak, for... A terrible demonstration of boss mechanics. But this is pretty much it for the for the Nexus. I mean, we only have uh whoops, we gotta go this way. A patrol and another tree, a crystalline protector. Pew. Send in the melee characters. You know, I love this warrior, and uh I said I was gonna touch more of the warrior. Rage is an incredibly easy mechanic to work with, to be honest, because um, it's like you can like spam abilities, and if and if the warrior doesn't have the rage to use it, well, then she won't use it, you know, and she'll just kind of skip over that move. But um, get this guy, get this guy, and also the charge, um, because interact with target is so um, uh, I don't know how to say inefficient at times and it can send your melee characters really off into the distance the charge right there as you saw it helps close the gap immediately and then it also helps um there bam the, the warrior is at the enemy before the paladin was even there and and that helps greatly when even the shaman and the warrior they both go running off but then when i hit interact with target again i can charge right back in with the warrior while the shaman has to run back so that's a, that's a nice, that's a nice thing to have. So let me set this up here, do a little formation. Okay. And then uh, hit myself with a bubble so I can do this quicker. There's three little spheres here that you're supposed to click and it breaks Karastraza out of her gigantic ice block. And for her, um, if you've never been here before, she's going to um, put a debuff on everyone that just keeps stacking over time. As you can see here, intense cold, and you're supposed to move. If you jump or you do any type of moving, um, it takes it off. So if you let it get too high, you start taking a lot of um, a lot of damage. You can see that I'm just using my other's jump mapped key for my other characters, and it's making them jump, and they're losing the debuff at the same time. Of course, that interrupts casting, but what are you going to do? Take the debuff 
or lose the cast that you were on. But that is the Nexus. That is Heroic Nexus. I do have a, I do have the list here. Let's see. I had to rewrite the list. Where's my marker? Where's my marker? Sorry. I'm not in front of the microphone. The Nexus is off the list. Here's the list. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is the whole list. I've broken it up. I've broken it up kind of by a uh, tier level. So we will do Trial of the Crusader. Hit the microphone. And then the other ICC five-man stuff, if this is even going to show up correctly in the camera. We'll, we'll hit that stuff at the end. I don't know about Oculus yet. I don't know. I may just skip over. Oculus is such a terrible instance. But that's for another day. Thank you for watching. As always, hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.